let's start. The Wall Street Journal writes a story about the Clinton Foundation, the Bill, Hillary, and Chelsea Clinton Foundation. Hillary Clinton is running for president. She hasn't officially declared yet, but she's running for president. They're raising money from foreign sources again. And here's some of the countries they raise money from. The United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Oman. Uh, the journal reports 48 million total from overseas on the, uh, if looking at the Clinton Foundation financing reports. Ron, you wrote a story about this in the National Journal. You called it stupid and sleazy. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why mince words? Look, nobody's questioning whether or not this is a, a good charitable foundation doing some really good things around the world. It, it is. Uh, the problem here is, first of all, politically it's stupid because they're taking money from countries that go against uh, what is going to be Hillary Clinton's brand and her reputation that somebody fighting for women. Some of these countries are not very good for women. And it's sleazy because of the perception. Even if you give them the benefit of the doubt, obviously... There's no way that you should have someone who's thinking of running for president taking money from foreign countries because it raises the level of, you know, what is it they're getting, they're expecting for that money. Even the Obama administration said this was not right, which is why they were not allowed to take uh, these donations when she was Secretary of State. Well, and it's not like she, she could recuse herself if she's president either. She's dealing with these countries. So it is problematic. So you wonder why they just don't reinforce the ban, then this problem goes away. That's, that's, that's the question for, for me. Look, they were doing this when she was out of office. She lost the presidential campaign in 2008. Uh, her husband was running the foundation. He was doing this, whether you like it or not. It was being done. The president, the White House said, don't do this when you're Secretary of State. Bill Clinton agreed. He backed off because she was Secretary of State traveling the globe. Makes sense, right? The president. But if the president had to tell them not to do this, why do they think if she's gearing up again that it's okay to go back to do it? We've seen this before. You and I have covered them a long time. Right. They're not a, a corrupt couple, like a lot of people say. When, when he was governor of Arkansas, they could have made a lot of money off that state. Other governors did. They didn't. They're not personally corrupt people, I don't believe. But they have this obsession with campaign money. They can't stand the idea that they might be outspent, that they might lose because they didn't raise enough money. It's part of their their, their, their mentality as campaigners. So they, they just, you know, this is part of their DNA to go get money any way they can. And is it a gateway for Republican critics to start running the old grainy images of the White House coffees. You know, one, of the, one of the big questions of the Bill Clinton presidency was fund using, using places within the White House for fundraising. It's the second biggest scandal of his administration. They're playing right into that narrative. Why would they do that? It's un unnecessary. They could run this foundation without uh, $2 million from Saudi Arabia. Right, and you have to wonder. It, just, it, it really doesn't make any sense at the end of the day right. because why? They'll change the position because it's the right thing to do. But do they wait until she officially declares? I mean, is that too cute? If they're smart, they do it now. Do it beforehand. And I just want to say for the record, the Clinton Foundation did put out a statement saying, number one, it's a philanthropy, period. As with other global charities, they say it receives support from individuals, organizations, and governments from all over the world. And they do say, and they're right about this, the reason we know about this is they've been transparent, they filed the paperwork, and it's out there. Uh, so it's not a question of hiding anything, it's a question of whether it's smart. Well, but you, as it, we know, it, 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 falls away during right. a presidential right. campaign. Oh, right. it's a charity. Well, it has their names on it. So. Right. And they deserve credit for uh, disclosing what they don't want to disclose. So why not go all the way? If you're going to be good government, if you're going to be a good uh, corporate citizens and good uh, NGO citizens then stop taking money from these foreign stop, governments. Stop taking money from foreign governments. It's, to you know it's not just so much that they're foreign governments. It's governments who have practices, human rights practices, exactly. the treatment of their own mm -hmm. people. And women. Yeah. There are the economic relationships, the st strategic relationships where people would say, well, is that a conflict of interest? But more importantly, if she wants to make the case that I'm going to break that glass ceiling. And a couple of these countries support terrorism. She, she's on record as saying they support terrorism and yet she's taking money from them. I just don't get it.